Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll talk about the Oxygen OS 11 on top of Android 11. So uh, OnePlus has uh, released a beta version of the Oxygen OS 11, which is based out of Android 11, and this is available for OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. So these two devices can upgrade to Android 11 along with the Oxygen OS 11. So this is again uh, uh, a beta build. So it's not a final version or uh, uh, it's the uh, stable version. This has a lot of bugs. So OnePlus already claims that these have uh, a lot of bugs because these are still uh, development uh, uh, builds. But then you can just try out uh, this uh, Oxygen OS 11 and uh, Android 11. But again, uh, as I said before, since it is not a final version, we do not recommend you to uh, install it on your primary phone in case OnePlus 8 uh, and 8 Pro are your primary phone. We don't recommend you to install because because, uh, there are lots of bugs and uh, you may not get the best experience but uh, in this video we will be showing you what all the new features on this device uh, with uh, the oxygen OS. so if you want to try it out uh, still uh, you can go to the description where we have the link uh, to download this so oneplus has a detailed uh, forum post uh, detailing how to install so what you need to do is there are two files one is for oneplus 8 and oneplus 8 pro based on your uh, smartphone so oneplus 8 uh, so we are trying it on oneplus 8 and uh, for oneplus 8 uh, the file size was around 2.6 gigabyte and uh, what you need to do is copy to the root of your folder that means uh, just uh, go to uh, uh, the root folder so there you go this is the root folder and uh, paste it here so we have this uh, 2.83 gigabyte this is oxygen os 11 so we have pasted here and then what you need to do is uh, just go to uh, the settings and uh, system and then uh, what you need to do is system updates you can click this gear icon and uh, go for the local upgrade so when you select local up upgrade it will automatically pick that file from the file manager and you can uh, go ahead and uh, update it so right now we have updated so this is uh, the oxygen os um, 11 and uh, you can just go ahead and see here so uh, oneplus 8 android version is android 11 and oxygen os uh, is uh, the oxygen os 11 and this has android 11 features as well so we'll just talk about uh, these features so if you first uh, let's have a look at how uh, the design has changed so if we just swipe from the top you can see that now it has a red and uh, white uh, icon that's the default icon uh, uh, combination so here you can see that this is the red and white icon so looks quite uh, neat uh, we can see that the icons are looking pretty neat not much of change here then if you look at the app drawer again then not much of change uh, you can see that the new font uh, this is a new font we'll talk about that font later so this is the new font and looks quite good and uh, uh, here you can't see any major difference here so there you go that's the only thing now next uh, let's go to the settings so that's where a lot of change have happened so you can see that there's a new settings panel so this has a lot of resemblance with the one ui now if you look at here so we have the samsung galaxy s20 plus here so you can see that a uh, lot of resemblance with the one ui you can see that uh, uh, the circular icons for you can see that uh, uh, wi-fi and bluetooth are connected here into a single group here also you can see the grouping and a display customization all those things are into one group uh, biometrics and uh, privacy and other options are in one group so similar to uh, the one ui uh, this has a lot of resemblance so you can see even the settings a lot of space here here also you can see that space so it is a extremely inspired by the one ui and uh, here you can see that uh, the new uh, icons uh, for these are looking quite good this is a red and white combo and this is actually not a complete uh, black version you can see that this has um, slightly grayish or rather uh, slight uh, grayish tint available here so it's not a pure black uh, uh, icon so now now next uh, let's uh, see uh, uh, all the options so you can see here wi-fi and network now let's go to the display so here we have the regular options like adaptive brightness advanced settings if you go uh, the refresh rate you can set uh, then uh, screen calibration is there again this is um, something which has been there uh, uh, for quite a uh, long time then um, the next uh, let's uh, see the vision comfort mode you can turn on you can set the color temperature uh, lightness also can be set then um, if you go to the ambient display here we have one important as aspect always on ambient lit display that's something which is quite new you can see that uh, always on you can select this always on display is now enabled now you can see what to show contextual info display message new notification and then horizon light so horizon light you can see that uh, few options are there for horizon light you can just save here 
सम इन्फो रिगार्डिंग म्यूजिक इन्फो अपकमिंग इन इवेंट दो कैन बी शोन देन यू कैन ऑल्सो सेट ए डिस्प्ले मैसेज हियर देन न्यू नोटिफिकेशन ना ऑलवेज ऑन डिस्प्ले इज टर्न ऑन विल जस्ट शो यू दैट so there you go that's the always on display looks quite good and uh, you can see the clock uh, and uh, the battery percentage is shown here we'll also show you how to customize this so that's the ambient display setting now we have the dark mode uh, uh, you can see that now dark mode is uh, available here uh, instead of uh, this the light uh, the regular mode the dark mode now now you can see that um, uh, dark mode previously used to be in customization now here we have a dark mode here now uh, display other settings you can see a uh, font size and all those things uh, which have been already there now next uh, let's uh, see the customization option so you can see here again the customization area has been uh, redesigned so here we have wallpaper so this uh, this is the new wallpaper so this is the new wallpaper which has been uh, launched uh, with uh, this uh, ui i mean uh, the uh, this version now you have the clock style so this is something which is quite good so this is uh, a new clock style you can see that um, uh, how uh, this works and then uh, uh, another clock style uh, so few clock styles are already there these are some pre pre installed ones so let's just try this uh, there you go so there you go this looks quite good uh, you can see here it also shows you the unlock thing so there you go so four unlocks each time you unlock you can see that number of unlocks you did uh, on a particular day can be measured here so each time you unlock uh, you can see that uh, it uh, changes to the num changes the number so this is kind of uh, really nice uh, the new clock style which looks quite good then uh, going to the fingerprint animation so here we have a few options so these are uh, like uh, already existing ones no major change here. again you can see that the layout has been changed the, the top uh, header looks uh, quite different uh, from others then we have the accent color you can see that uh, uh, the red and white is a default accent color which actually looks uh, quite cool uh, in my opinion and then you also get the regular um, uh, option so these are single colors but red and white looks actually uh, great on the black uh, or the rather the dark theme then system icons you can see here you can set uh, these icons so whatever type of icon you want uh, you can uh, set it from here now uh, the icon pack you can see that hydrogen and oxygen away so those uh, two packs are available so again that has been uh, the default ones uh, which has been available uh, for long time so that's the icon pack now let's go here to customization then font so this is the noto sans is a new font uh, which has been available one plus sans used to be uh, the regular font now we have the noto sans this is the new font actually looks quite good and uh, these are the options in the customization now let's see buttons and gestures so we have the navigational bar gestures so these things are remaining the same so you can see this is the uh, gestures so these are the gestures so you can see here then if you go to go back uh, we'll just show you this is the back and then uh, you can see that you can just uh, swipe here and uh, switch between apps so that also option is also there so again uh, this looks uh, quite uh, smooth uh, even though it's a beta version it uh, feels quite smooth we do not see any sort of lags here again uh, 90 hertz looks really cool uh, frankly we are uh, liking this ui but again this has a lot of resemblance with uh, the one ui that's the only issue we have uh, now uh, apart from that uh, we have the uh, as i said before the buttons and gestures so uh, security fingerprint option so these are uh, similar battery let's see the battery option so optimized charging again nothing much here then uh, you get uh, the digital will being and the parallel control uh, uh, focus mode is there you can see that uh, you can set the focus mode that has been there for uh, quite some time then uh, in the utilities so we have parallel apps uh, app locking so those things remain the same nothing much uh, different and uh, one plus switch uh, if you are switching to uh, the new one plus then now uh, if you go to the about phone you can see that android 11 version that's the latest version and again uh, you can see that uh, let's just take this here so there you go android 11 that's the version included here so uh, this is uh, the new ui of uh, the one plus uh, with the oxygen os 11 you can see that it looks actually good uh, in fact uh, this can be actually fine-tuned this has a lot of resemblance with the one ui that's the only uh, issue otherwise it feels quite good it's a it's a refreshing change uh, uh, to be very frank but again uh, many people uh, actually liked one plus uh, because of it has this stock uh, like resemblance and with this uh, the stock resemblance is actually going away that's the only thing around 
so that is the new features of the oxygen os 11 on top of android 11 hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day